In the previous section, we discussed the value of inputting commands with the keyboard. One key to efficiency in AutoCAD is taking advantage of keyboard shortcuts, or command aliases, and also the function keys. Let's look at the function keys first. They work like toggles. They turn certain drawing aids on and off. The two you're going to use the most will be the F3 key and the F8 key. The F3 key will toggle your running O snaps on and off. O snaps are drawing tools that force AutoCAD to draw objects to very specific places on another drawing object. In the video section where we looked at the right click shortcut windows, we found the running O snaps or the O snap override commands. Well, running O snaps are O snaps that are always on. If I were to draw a line and I wanted to draw it from the center of this circle, to the top point of this triangle. How would I do that? Well, I would use O snaps. If I start the line command, and with my O snaps on, I get a glyph. That little green circle right at the middle of the circle there, that is the center O snap. Also, there's a little text box there that has the word center on it. So when I'm in a command, a drawing command, or an editing command, and I need to snap to specific points, of an object, like the center of a circle, I use the running O snaps to do so. Once the glyph is highlighted or showing, I can left click to start my line. Now I picked the center of that circle. Now to draw to the end point of this triangle, or to the point of it, I just do the same thing. I move my mouse with the cursor and the crosshairs near that end point, and the end point running O snap glyph will be shown. Then I click. And there you go. I drew a line from the center of the circle to the point of that triangle. Now I can toggle those running O snaps on and off by pressing the F3 key. As you see, I just pressed it and the command line says O snap off. If I were to draw a line again and I want to get to the center of the circle, I don't have that running O snap available. Same way with the endpoints they won't go. Now we'll take a deeper look later on into all of the exact details of the running O snaps and how to decide which ones are on, which ones are off. In short, these are your options. You have an endpoint, a midpoint, center point, nodes, quadrants, etc. There's a lot. Every one here that is checked is what's going to be turned on. I can turn them all on, turn them all off, or just turn a few on. It depends on how you want to work. Of course, you can always use your right click shortcut menu to pick a specific O snap, or you can type in O snaps too. Again, we'll talk about those later. Now, the other toggle that you're going to use for your function keys is the F8 key. F3 and F8 you will use the most because those are two of your biggest drawing aids. F3 is for the running O snaps, and F8 will turn on your ortho mode. Ortho mode right now is turned on for me. When I draw a line, as an example, this line will be orthogonally projected, meaning it's going to be perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. That's nice. Now, if I start the line command again, and I turn off my ortho by pressing F8, I can draw the line at any angle. It's not constrained or locked in in any way. So you're going to toggle off and on your running O snaps and your ortho projections off and on all the time. That's a constant back and forth. Those are two buttons that you would often program into like a five button mouse so that you can quickly and on the fly turn those things off and on, especially the F8 key. Now the F1 key is another one you're going to use often. And a lot of times you're going to hit it by accident because the escape key and the F1 key are right next to each other. The escape key cancels one of your commands. So if you're trying to draw the line and you, well, now I made a mistake, I don't want that, you hit the escape key. Well, a lot of times you fat finger it and you press the F1 key instead. For example, if I start a line and say, oh, no, don't want to do it, I press escape, I'm out of the line command. Well, if I start the line command and, oh, I want to stop, I go to press the escape key, but I miss and I hit F1. Well, what does that do? <laughs> F1 brings up the help menu. And when you're in a command and you open up help, it will open up the help section 
for that command. So I was in the line command and now it brought up help for the line. A lot of people find this annoying. Annoying, annoying, annoying. So bad annoying that many people have been known to rip off their F1 key because they hate it so badly. Another function or toggle switch that you're going to use is the F2 key. Press it. That will open up your command text window. Press it again to close it. And remember, the function keys are toggle switches, so they will turn things off or on, depending on the current state. If something is off, it will turn them on. If they're on, it will turn them off, or something like that. Now, F4 will toggle your 3D O snaps on. Now, these are, you're running O snaps, but they're for 3D functionality. And that's only in AutoCAD. In AutoCAD LT, it reverts back to the old functionality before this new feature was introduced. And that is in toggling on an old drafting tablet. So I haven't used a drafting tablet with AutoCAD in many years, but they were really cool. We used them often when AutoCAD was still in DOS and not in Windows, and it had a lot of the ribbon-like functionality on the tablet itself. So you probably aren't going to use that anymore, or ever again even. Now let's keep going. F5 will toggle through isometric planes. This will help you to draw different isometric drawings. We'll look at this later on, but if you press F5, it will turn you on to an isoplane on the top, right, or left. Again, we'll take a closer look at drawing an isoplanes later on, but those are great for creating uh, 3D isometric views or creating a, like a, a PNID sheet. You know, those are really cool, or some circuit drawings. Now F6 will turn on a dynamic UCF, or turn it off again. Again, that's just in AutoCAD, not in AutoCAD LT. That is a ever-changing coordinate system based on the user input for a face of a 3D object. So if you want to work with a cube, and you want to draw in a coordinate system that's based on the face of one of your objects, like the cube, then it will dynamically, or as you're working, it will automatically change your current coordinate system to match that. So again, that's only in AutoCAD and not in AutoCAD LT. F7 will toggle your grid off and on, as you can see on my screen now. And F9 will turn your snap mode on or off. This will cause your crosshairs to snap or automatically go to specific points on the grid. So for example, if I had turned it on, I would only be able to go to the points on the grid. And that depends on your settings for your drawing. We'll talk about that later on. F10 turns on polar tracking, which is another type of snapping and orthogonic projection, but based on polar coordinates. F11 turns your O snap tracking off and on. And again, both of these, we're going to look at them a little bit later. But the O snap tracking on is really cool because then. I can draw a line to a place that's based on the line work of something else. And you see that green line that comes as I move around my drawing? That's the tracking. Now it will take the line and follow it and project it, you know, whichever line it is I'm drawing from. And so I can go or snap to places that don't exist, but are sort of inferred or arbitrary. So that's a very useful tool as well. Again, these tracking devices, the polar tracking and the O-snap tracking, we'll talk about them later on in more in depth in a section. But the function keys, they turn on and off these certain tools that allow you to draw more accurately or draw better even. Make sure to watch the video pertaining to each of these tools for more in-depth uh, descriptions for them.